Warning, this game features moments of psychological horror. Welcome to Crossroads, a mysterious bar that only exists at the corner of nowhere and everywhere. It goes unnoticed to most, but always appears to those who need it. Those hopeless souls who find themselves lost at a crossroads. Will you be brave enough to belly up to the bar when it appears to you? Time to belly up to the bar. Hello everyone, your Gibbs in the house. We're playing Crossroads number two. Yay! And uh, we're playing this live with all of the beautiful people watching on YouTube and on Twitch. We're going to have fun today with this spooky game, I suppose. I do remember playing the last one, Crossroads, and I loved it. I'm excited to jump into this one. Looks like we've got April Rose in the house. Welcome on in. And Grim is in the house. Hello there. Welcome. Ray as well. You guys are all just in time. What kind of cookies are you eating? These are like rainbow vanilla cookies, you know, like with rainbow chips or whatever in it. Yum. So yes, this is in honor of Elephant Games 20th anniversary, which is crazy to me. They've been making games for 20 years. I know I've been playing their games for probably 10 years, so I'm excited to get into this one. And we got many, many more in the future. So let's go ahead and play this one. Let's get scared! Yay! Bring on the jump scares, please! Hmm. You're a bit late, but please take a seat. And wait, we can begin. Wait, 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 wait. Is this... Was he in the last Crossroads? Why am I having deja vu? Was there a therapist in the first game? Anyways, let's see here. I've had these therapy sessions for two years now. It helps, but I'm not sure I'll ever be able to overcome my trauma. Wow, this game looks incredible already. Uh, I like the uh, modern feel here. But like, it's still kind of soft, if you know what I mean. Like... A little bit comic-y, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and we'll do uh, special features. This is your first crossroads? Ah, they're in for a treat. I have not did Curse Fables. That's on my list, Black Omen. Let's do this. Elephant Games has improved their games. Exactly. So let's go ahead and, I guess, continue the conversation. Follow your therapist's directions. It's How have you been doing lately, Sterling? Do you feel up to trying something new? Does he look like Christian Slater, or am I going crazy? I don't know, he kind of looks like Christian Slater to me. In dialogues with other characters, you will have a few different options of what to say or how to act. Be careful what you choose, as it will affect your relationships with other characters. I've been feeling down lately. Is it is something hard? I'm feeling good actually. It is something fun. You know what? I think we got to go in with a positive mental attitude. It's just a simple test to help us understand the root of your anxiety. Here, have a look at your file while I prepare it. This guy's voice is uh, is rich. I love it. The root of your anxiety. Exactly. Yay for fun. Mm -mm -mm. So, what else we got to do here? Look at our file. Got it? I still shudder when I remember that incident. Will I ever get over my fears? Sterling Fisher. Admittance. Patient arrived in a shock state after being trapped in a confined space for 50 hours. Patient is placed under observation. Symptoms, panic attack, insomnia, and nightmares. Claustrophobia, treatment. 
Dielectric behavioral therapy? Exposure therapy? Are these real things? Patient enjoys playing video games. <laughs> yes, patient enjoys video games because video games relieve stress and anxiety. That's what video games do. Mm -hmm. Northside, is that Dr. Phil's son? Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay. We're talking now? What's with the background? Listen to that. Why did it get so ominous? Ominous? Are you ready? Then let's begin. You will see a set of pictures. I want you to choose which picture makes you the most anxious or perhaps even frightens you. Oh, great. I thought we were going after the fun, doctor. Exposure therapy is very common. Mm. Why can't you show me pictures that make me laugh and make me have fun? Is this until dawn, right? And I hope we're not gonna get drugged. We're Raven in the house! Hello, I see you over there on Twitch. I need to choose which one gives me more anxiety or fear. I don't know. See, here, here's my thinking, right? A gun is very impersonal, and you don't have to be close to really, you know, inflict damage. This, I, I'm more afraid of a knife, because this implies a very close proximity, you know what I mean? Where this one you can kind of shoot from like, I don't know, 100 yards away, where this one you gotta be like, inches away. As an American, I say guns. Fair enough, fair enough. Clowns and scarecrows. Oh my goodness. What's more scary, chat? Clowns or scarecrows? I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I find scarecrows a little unnerving. I mean, yeah, if you draw a clown like that, sure. Actually, you know what? Maybe it is clowns. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, even a happy clown is kind of scary. I, I'm with you, chat, on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. Yes, Curse Fables is going to be out, and It Happened Here is going to be out, and Black Omen will be playing both those games. We're actually going to be playing the games before the new one, so hold on tight. We got lots and lots of games coming up at ya. All right, what are we afraid of now? Height or darkness? Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure. I'm af am I afraid of the dark? I don't know if I've really been in the dark. You know what I mean? Like, ah, like pitch dark. Hmm. Heights for you? Yeah. Heights are definitely freaked me out too. All right. I think I'm going to go with chat. We're going to say heights for that one. Because I'm, I'm not sure, like... Of the two, this one I think is scarier. Snakes and rats. <gasps> no, not snakes. Come on, are they really scary? Okay, let me. Here, here's the scenario. You're in a bathtub, okay? You're in a bathtub, and it has a hundred snakes, or it has a hundred rats. Which one is scarier? A bathtub full of snakes, or a bathtub full of rats? Hmm. There is an episode in Game of Thrones where they put a rat in a bucket. And this is a torture thing, right? So they put the rat in the bucket. They strap the open end of the bucket to the victim. And then they light, uh, take a lit branch and warm the bucket. And the rat has only one place to go. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm more afraid of rats. Oh, evil! Look at these choices. Knives and needles, people. Oof. Oh my goodness. Go oh my goodness. Gorgeous hybrid, we're just beginning. Welcome on in, good to see you. Sophia too, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Knives and needles, my goodness. Yeah, I, I oof. Like, you know like those big like the dental needles or like the big medical ones that are like like ridiculously large and they like squirt out oh 
Okay, here we go. Now we're getting down to it. So we got clowns and dolls. Hmm. Dolls that have the spirits trapped inside? <laughs> Maybe. Hello. Sarah, hello. Hi. How are you doing? Dollies. Are dollies more evil than clowns? I don't know. This is a tough one. Won't get rabies from a snake. Dolls and clowns. Hmm. Both are horrible. I'll be honest with you. I, I think of these as like, you know, you, you look at them and they're like, wait, did it move? You know what I mean? Like Chucky. Yeah, exactly. Chucky. Oh, now it's starting to get real here. Drowning or heights? Oof. Wow, 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 wow. This is tough. You can overpower a doll? Have you seen the Chucky movies? Have you? Or um, what's the newer series now with the lady doll? Um, oh my god. What's it called? Isabella? Is it Isabella? Is that what that doll's called? Anyways, I think drowning is for me the... Crazy, yeah. Rats and bugs! Aww! Can't be afraid of good old spider and little worm and cricket and grasshopper. I would rather drown. Wow. Megan... No, it was... I, Megan went through my mind, but I was thinking about those horror movies with, like, the doll. I think it's Isabella or something like that. Interesting. Thank you for your honesty. From now on, if you encounter something that scares you, don't look away. Instead, breathe deeply and count to ten. Yes, Stephanie called it out. It was Annabelle. Yes, Annabelle Sky. That's the one I was thinking about. That doll's creepy. Annabelle. Ah, look at the time. Let's end our session here. Next time, we can discuss other tools to help you overcome your fears. Wait. See you soon. What did we accomplish? Other than, like, a bill? An invoice? Cat B2 in the house? Hello? It has a very beautiful library, exactly. They're gonna use their answers against you? Cheyenne? Shh! That just makes it worse. <laughs> I like both clowns and dolls and collect them both. Well, hey, it's all about your fears, my fears, you know? Then we're back at the bar. Anxiety, that's what we've accomplished. No kidding. I, I love this bartender, she's awesome. Oh, 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 uh, hello here. What could this possibly be here? It's a snack. What is this place? Something about it makes me anxious. Welcome to Crossroads, Sterling. I've been expecting you. Call me Mistress Eve. I'll be your bartender this evening. So I'm pretty sure she was in the last one, right? Hey, 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 Alana. Welcome on in. It's a Slytherin, <laughs> Slytherin snake. Like, actually, I picked rats, right? For me, rat, like... A bathtub of rats is way scarier than a bathtub of snakes. Is this some sort of elaborate new therapy? Did my doctor put you up to this? I'm sorry, have we met before? I mean, yeah, the doll is up here having a good time. I see that guy, yeah. So many questions, but don't worry. You'll get your answers when it's time. All you need to know is that I am here to help. Are you now? You see, only those lost in life find themselves here. I sense a lot of fear in you, but I think I can help. Let's play a little game. Can I have a pint first before we get into it? A danger noodle? Is that what we're calling the snake? A danger noodle? <laughs> Cute. Is that a bloody knife over there? What is this place? And I'm starting to see this googly eye here staring at us. What kind of game? How could it help? How would it help? With all due respect, you're giving me the creeps. See, when you start a sentence with all due respect, you're clearly insulting someone. You like games, don't you? 
then you'll love this one. In this game, you'll learn a dark and mysterious secret. There's a scorpion up there, too. You might even get a chance to make a change. I'll even lend you a clever little helper. A snake? Jules, welcome on in. This place is sus. <laughs> oh, it's like a Game Boy or whatever. 